Hi, my name is Jurte Vries. I want to explain you something about adding extra information in Drupal form, like, inform uh, like uh, explanations. Um, I opened the Drupal form simulation I previously recorded, and as you can see at the start screen, I don't have an action. I deleted that action, and instead I entered uh, a note that says something like this. Um, this note is meant as a start situation and to indicate it as a step text, I add the text start situation in a step text. I entered the title in the bubble because that's the first thing the user will see if he opens the simulation. And it is possible that if you link directly to a specific simulation in a, in a mode, that the user is not aware of the title. So the title should be somewhere. So I think it's a good idea to have it in the bubble of the first uh, frame and uh, say something about the start situation. In this uh, case, you are logged in into the system and tell something about the tasks. Um, as you can notice, I created a second bubble. Click anywhere or press enter to continue. And that's because if you create an information frame, um, then the user has to know how to proceed. And of course you can type it in the normal bubble, but the problem is that this text will also be visible in the documentation. So if I type it in here, it will be also in the documentation. And if I type it in here, it's not. I will show you. If I go to the document tab and I go to the specific section of this document, then you can see here the title start situation. That's actually the step text. Start, step is start situation. You see the title in here and a task, but nothing is mentioned about pressing enter. If you had it typed it in here, it was also be visible in the documentation. How to accomplish this is very easy. If you create a different bubble, like here, a different uh, uh, a note, I right click on it and I edit it. Then you can see that I don't enable the document view for this bubble. So actually anything I typed in there will not be visible in the documentation. And to manage all this kind of different kind of uh, notes, um, I created in a template different notes for each situation. So the normal note, which is by default visible, is the note and the highlighted note, which actually are in our house style. But I also added more, like a test instruction, with an instruction that is only available in the, in the test mode. Uh, the, let me uh, 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 check or no. And uh, the start situation is the bubble in here. You have a specific one for the end situation. And you have something like presented to continue. Then you get this one. So actually what I usually do is uh, when I have to create an information frame, I just copy the frame. For example, if I want to explain something more about this uh, specific field, then I delete the action. Instead, I insert a note or a highlighted note. It doesn't matter, of course. For example, in this case, I can also create a highlighted note and tell something about the tab navigation. And I can type it in here. Or I can do it the other way around, which is also very nice. And have explanation in here. Um, it's just a mi minor thing, but if you have the text uh, twice, so you typed an explanation in here and in here, it does look okay in the simulation, but it looks a little bit less okay in the documentation if you are very picky like me. Um, so if I go to the documentation view, I have to wait for the update, but then you figure out, you can see it here, 
So it's up to your choice, of course, if you like it as a step explanation and then have something like in here or the other way around. That's actually up to you. But to have it both twice, I think it's just over the top. Um, so I encourage you to uh, to have a start situation where you explain something about the start, how you uh, how you open the screen, how are you, what menu transaction you performed, or what buttons you have to press to come here, because your user might uh, not have the clue if you just open the link uh, from somewhere. Um, you can have specific, you can explain specific screen parts by just creating information screens. The only thing is that you must be aware that you always put something like press enter to continue on your screen, and preferably this bubble should not be available in your documentation. You can do it just by uh, the option here. When you edit a note, you deselect the document view, and that's it. Um, another uh, option, of course, is to have extra information on a screen where you have an action uh, that's allowed if you want to explain something about this action instead of having it in the action bubble i prefer to have a, a normal note for it and you just put it above and you tell something about it um, i put it above always because uh, we read from top to bottom and from left to right so from left to right would also be okay but this uh, it's usually yeah, giving the wrong order. So first they click and then they can read. So usually I should first read it. So it should be uh, on top or at the bottom. You can align it along the other bubble. I usually align it a little bit like, for example, I can align it like this. Uh, but if it looks really ugly, uh, the uh, bubble with the action text could also be shorter and you just align it a little bit to the to the right. The left is not possible because this line will cross the other one as well. Uh, just a design issue. Um, it is possible, for example, this is an example, to explain something about another part with, with a bubble. And to have an action, I usually try to prevent this because it's a little bit destructive. So instead, you better if you want to enhance it, just paste it. So if you see it after 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 uh, uh, you create it, just delete the action text, and then you say something about or or the other way around. to have more tension and then step text could be just explanation. Um, okay, at the end, last frame, last action, uh, usually it's a screenshot of the end situation. It could also be something like this. Um, you can have a specific note on it, uh, the end situation note, uh, where you just explain uh, you are locked out. Next step, and you can fill in the next step. Um, by default, uh, you perform when it uh, displays the simulation, automatically displays a text that it's going to, uh, to close the lesson. Okay, and this concludes my uh, uh, demonstration of this uh, tutorial. Thanks for listening and watching.